Hey, I'm here again with my friend Josh Goldberg. What up? He's going to show you some Chapman stick concepts that work really well on guitar. <laughs> Recognizing shapes is an intrinsic part of human nature, you know, and this can be a double-edged sword. On one hand, you know, it gives you a great guideline to, for where to play your notes. On the other hand, they can kind of become a crutch and a comfort zone. How many times have you played a solo or a melody that really stuck mainly to that one pentatonic box because that's where you felt safe? Well, I'm going to show you some tricks that come from the stick that translate really well to the guitar that involve combining two shapes between your hands to allow you to bust out of that box and create an even bigger shape. Suddenly the guitar is one big shape! Alright, so why don't we take first this really common power chord figure and, you know, this two note per string idea an octave up. And then combine them like so. Make sure to learn each hand individually so that it's less confusing when you combine them. And Once you get that part of the lick, you can take it to the next level by moving the same shape with one hand all around the neck. In the intro, I played this big long lick. Well, really, I was keeping my right hand exactly the same and moving the power chord in my left hand around. It's still this. But now I'm doing this. And then the next step to take is moving both of your hands around, and you might wind up with uh, something that sounds completely different, even though you're using the exact same shapes. Full speed. One little tip I'd like to give that I found helps me out with learning this technique is um, you want to mute the strings as much as possible while you're tapping because there's, it's really easy to get them all ringing. And so what I've been doing is as much as possible I've been keeping my index finger straight and resting on the strings. And so if I'm going to be playing something like this power chord thingy from earlier, instead of playing it like I just did with my index finger, my ring finger. I'd play it actually with my middle finger, keeping my index finger resting on the strings, not pushing down, just resting. And I'd be playing middle finger ring ring. So it'd be that way I've got a nice little mute essentially from my finger to keep the ringing from happening. So Ben, I know that the tapping stuff is a little bit more difficult for you because of the length of your nails on your right hand, mm -hmm. uh, but if you ever decide to cut those bad boys, or for all of you out there watching, I really recommend trying to get your fingers as on your right hand as perpendicular with the strings, almost like you're making a perfect cross, like you were one of the fret rails. Um, that way it'll help clean up your tapping and you can get a much more accurate tap out of it. Straight on. Yeah, exactly. Thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed another great stick video.